So now that President Biden is out of the race, will his supporters jump on board Vice President Harris's campaign? Well, today we went to New Hampshire to find out how voters feel there. And WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live in Salem tonight. Louisa, it seems a fair number of people are still undecided. Well, Lisa David, I spoke with several voters and they're being thoughtful about this. They know there's over 100 days to the general election. Certainly some of them want these candidates to earn their votes. But there is one man who's made up his mind. And several weeks ago, he said he wanted President Biden to stay in this race. My dad became involved in, in politics from very young. Louis Martel gazes with pride on his dad's campaign picture. The 85-year-old Manchester man musing about the days when politics was more about principle than party. Are you a lifelong Democrat? Yes, I am. I am. Very nice. But as somebody would say, I don't vote for the party, I vote for the person. Two weeks ago, Martel told us this about President Joe Biden. I'd like to keep him right where he is. Now he's grappling with a seismic political shift. Vice President Kamala Harris running for president as her boss has bowed out. So what are you going to do? Well, uh, he's, he does, uh, he, he likes Kamala Harris and he's, uh, he's going to support Kamala Harris for president. And I, I think I like his choice. The question is, is she capable of beating you know who? Martel is not alone. We spoke with Granite Staters weighing their options. Honestly, it's just, it's a lot. I honestly feel like um, we, we need to have a bigger pool to, to, to choose from. I'm interested to see how it plays out and then probably decide between Kamala and Kennedy. Two weeks ago, former President Donald Trump held a narrow lead in one New Hampshire poll. Now Neil Levesque, executive director of the New Hampshire Institute for Politics, says Harris may enjoy an enthusiasm bump among Granite Staters, but shouldn't take that for granted. This is a more suburban area, uh, a lot of middle class folks here. Uh, and so I think she needs to make that kind of an appeal to those types of voters. With age and experience, Martel knows only one thing about this race is for sure. We're full of surprises. We, we, we really are. New Hampshire is always full of surprises. Now you've heard the early numbers gauging enthusiasm around Harris. Coming up at 6 o'clock, hear from one pollster about why he thinks it's too early to measure how New Hampshire voters are feeling. We're live in Salem, New Hampshire. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right, Louisa, thank you. President